I could totally understand why a lot of police in certain states and, you know, certain neighborhoods quit or resign early because it doesn't matter what they do. They could come there and do their job perfectly and they will still get disrespected, still get talked down to, still get belittled because this bystander saw what was happening, saw the cops were doing nothing, but this individual walks up to them and started to instigate. She saw all of that with her own two eyes and still said it was racism. Like, it's, it's, that's ridiculous at this point. And this was only a few weeks ago. And picture individuals like this with this type of mentality raising this upcoming generation right now, being mother and fathers with this type of mentality that you're about to see here in this video. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments. And with that said, let's get into this one. So the other cop, you guys just saw the cop was pushing him back to tell him calm down. Apparently from what he just said, apparently the cops that took his gun. And apparently he's talking, now he's talking to another officer. Disrespecting him, saying he's going to knock him out. That's what he just said. Let's go back and listen carefully to what he just said. See the cops, you see what they're doing? Standing there, doing their job. Investigation going on right now. So that's why they are there right now. Listen to what he says again. Listen closely and there's like eight or nine police officers right there. Now let's listen again. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! Man, sit your ass down. I know she now she talking. The guy, as you guys can see in the corner with the hoodie, he was telling him to calm down, like chill out. And that's when that guy who's about to get arrested now told the other guy in the hoodie, yo, chill out, cuz you got nothing to do with you. Chill out. Now she's hopping in, acting like they did something wrong. He just threatened a police officer while there are like 20 of them standing right there. What did he think was going to happen? I can't believe she is saying this. So wait, wait, wait. That gotta be his girlfriend. Ain't no way. That gotta be his girlfriend. There's no way she saw what he did. I'm not saying, hey, babe, relax, chill out. There's too many officers here. You don't be acting up like this. She didn't even say none of that. No, she wanted to intervene and escalate things. She is pulling the race card when he threatened to knock out a police officer when there's 10 of them standing right there. And then she said, did he hit him? Did he swing on him? You can't threaten anybody. Go do that to a stranger. Not all strangers might react a certain way. Go threaten certain individuals and see what happens to you. You can't just go around threatening people when they're standing there doing their job. Charge at the officer? Okay. Oh, look. George Floyd, 
Tyree Nichols, it's about transparency plus accountability equals trust for the community and law enforcement. I hope you guys are paying attention now. She is still talking smack over there, and he got a reality check that quickly. Unless you're looking for a lawsuit and trying to get some money. But look how humble he is now, trying to talk nice, and sweet, and polite to the police officers. They can't arrest you now, man. You just threaten a police officer. What do you think was going to happen? And she's still over there talking. My man, you better off getting away from her. Doesn't matter what wrong you do, she's going to be right there putting fuel to the fire. Yeah. Should throw her in jail too. So now they got the whole area blocked off. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys could tell what that is right there. Yeah, gun. Just in case you guys are confused, a gunman struck by an NYPD unmarked car during pursuit. So somebody got hit, they were chasing the gunman. You see what's on the ground over there. Cops show up to do their job, trying to secure the neighborhood, make sure everybody's good. And you heard her. They're the victims. That man walked up to that cop, threatened him to his face. What he's gonna do to him? And she didn't see nothing wrong with that. And you see why the generation coming up are the way they are? Rootless, ignorant, anger, hate in their heart. They robbing that 12, 13 years old. I just saw a video a few days ago. 13 year old was doing drive-bys. Two person died. Go look it up. Yeah. This is the type of parents they probably have at home condoning their nonsense. People who killed rapper Julio Fulio in a weekend shooting in Tampa. Three others were injured in that shooting. We are told they are all in stable condi condition. Eight on your side's Chloe Sparks is live where this happened along Fowler Avenue, not too far from USF. What's the latest this morning, Chloe? A suspect has still not been identified, but a Jacksonville crime analyst believes that the shooter at large could be from a rival group in Jacksonville, where Julio Fulio is from. While fans and loved ones mourn the loss of Jacksonville rapper Julio Fulio, Tampa police are working. That fans, family moaning. I can understand the family part. Right? And the hero did I said, look at the bring the criminals to justice. This is the problem I have. This guy named Julio Fulio was a rapper, famous in Jacksonville, Florida. Guess what he was famous for? Disrespecting the dead. Going to people gravesite, dancing on the graves, pouring out liquor on the grave. Disrespectful stuff. Rapping about people's dead relatives. I mean disrespectful. I mean, how could you be surprised? And to make things even worse, this individual, over the course of, I believe, five to six years, was shot five times over those years span. Shot five times. When was he going to get this wake-up call? 
Why didn't you move out of Jacksonville, Florida? People were condoning the nonsense while he was doing it, antagonizing other gangs, poking at them. It was only a matter of time before your luck ran out. And unfortunately, it did. He dropped his address where he was keeping his, um, his birthday party. You guys can figure out the rest from there. Once his enemies and ops find out where he was, what was going down, they showed up, finished the job. Never ending cycle. And also, since we talk about never ending cycle, he's also a father of multiple kids. There are cameras here and our officers are working to view all of the cameras and talk with people, you know, who might have seen anything or heard anything. Three other people were victims of this shooting in a Tampa hotel parking lot. The other victims are believed to be in a stable condition. At this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. After getting kicked out of an Airbnb where Julio Fulio was celebrating his 26th birthday, according to his social media, a Jacksonville crime analyst believes those posts might have played a big role in Fulio's death. Doing this for so long, I would tend to think this is more of a of a Jacksonville based regional kind of beef between between two groups maybe took advantage of a foolish posting that that was out there saying where he was and you know that's that's the downside of that according to a jacksonville report fulio was shot at least twice in the last few years before he was shot and killed here in the parking lot the most recent incident was in october when he was shot in the foot and in 2021, Fulio was grazed by a bullet in a drive-by shooting in Jacksonville. So, so his murder comes and somebody from a rival group is now going to get out there and, and need to be retaliated against in their eyes for his murder. And then that just keeps going. I swear to God, we the worst. Basically ambushed. <clears throat> And we've reached out to Tampa police officials and we're waiting to hear back this morning if there are any new leads on a suspect. We'll be sure to report any updates we find out. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't? Today? Or cannot? Yeah. No, you don't. No, I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me it's a good excuse for not getting there yeah but i've been it seems like every single day on television i'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle it's in the news but I'm so, sometimes i get so tired of talking about it i want to i want to just go this is over can we move on and, and if you talk about it it exists right yeah it's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have you see guys, cycle continues. You heard what the guy said in the video. Somebody's gonna retaliate from the other side now, and now he's gonna be back and forth. It's never ending. You guys see in the first video that I showed you guys of the young lady pulling the race card. What did you guys witness here? Who do you guys believe took Julio Fulio's life? Someone that looked just like him. And who's out there trying to crack the case and do an investigation? His family wants justice. Now, who we got to go there and find and get justice for Julio? Who? The police. The same police officers that that young lady was disrespecting when they showed up to do their job. They don't get paid enough to be disrespected like that, man. Like, I got, now I see why so many cops are quitting and retiring early. They can't win. A lot of the times, the, the hands are tied. If you rough the criminal up too much, you could get sued. Imagine that. He had too many warnings and too many signs that God was giving him. He didn't pay none of it any attention. Until he met his ultimate demise. You can't play with debt. I not think once that debt is not going to come get you. You can't laugh at other people when they lose their loved ones. I think it's a joke in the game. I'm not sure if these young guys think that when they die, they're going to respawn. It's not a video game. This ain't Grand Theft Auto. This ain't Call of Duty. This ain't none of that. This is real life. When you're gone, you're gone. Ain't no coming back. They don't get that. I don't, I don't know why they play with their life, especially when you have kids that you were supposed to live for. Raise them, guide them, be there for them, protect them. 
You're not even there to do that. You're gone. And who's going to raise these multiple kids that he has now? See what I'm saying? Cycle continues again. Rest in peace, Sefulio. But you can't, you can't be out here playing stupid games and not expect to win stupid prizes. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.